Welcome to Today 24 News. You're watching the national highlights of the day with Muskan Suri. PM invokes Nehru to corner Congress in House. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday repeatedly invoked Jawaharlal Nehru, country's first PM, as he spoke on a range of issues ranging from price high to responsibilities of people to defend the idea of India. In his reply in the Lok Sabha to the debate on motion of thanks on President's address, Modi invoked Nehru to either defend his government or take aim at the Congress. Opposition Congress has been accusing Modi and the current deposition of undermining Nehru's legacy and his contributions to the making of modern India, stating he is accused of not mentioning Nehru's name enough. Modi quipped that he will fulfill the wishes of the Congress. I will repeatedly take Nehruji's name today. It will be Nehru and only Nehru. You should enjoy. Modi Modi said amid cheer from Treasury benches. Modi said amid cheer from Treasury benches. TRF terrorists killed in Pulwama encounter. A terrorist linked to the Resistance Front, TRF, an offshoot of the proscribed lashkar e taiba outfit, was killed during an encounter in the South Kashmir's Pulwama district on Monday. Police said, an encounter in the South Kashmir's Pulwama district on Monday, police said. According to the police, an encounter broke out between terrorists and the security forces at Nambal in Pulwama's Avantipura area during a search and cordon operation. Based on a specific input, a raid was conducted by a small team of police at Nambal area of at Nambal area of Avantipura. During raid, the hiding terrorists started firing indiscriminately upon the police party which was retaliated. In the meantime, reinforcement of 42 RR immediately reached at the encounter site. In the ensuing encounter, one terrorist was killed, police spokesperson said. Terror groups rebranding themselves as humanitarian bodies. India at UN. India on Tuesday made a wheeled attack on Pakistan, saying terrorist groups in the neighborhood have been rebranded themselves as humanitarian organizations to evade sanctions. Themselves as humanitarian organizations to evade sanctions. It is imperative that the sanctions do not legitimate humanitarian requirements. However, it is important to exercise due to diligence while providing humanitarian carve outs, especially in cases where terrorism finds safe heavens. India's permanent representative to the UN ambassador, T.S. Trimurti, Speaking at the UN Security Council open debate, Trimuthi said there have been examples of terrorist groups taking full advantages of humanitarian carve-out, making a mockery of sanctions regimes, including that of 1,267 Al-Qaeda sanctions committee. Tripura MLA who resigned from assembly and quit BGP joined Congress. Tripura MLA Sudeep Roy Burman and Ashish Kumar Saha who had been resigned from the assembly and quit the Bharatiya Janata Party on Monday have joined the Congress. News agency ANI reported. The two MLAs met Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Wadra in Delhi before joining the Grand Old Party. <laughs> India reports 67,597 fresh COVID-19 cases. Positivity rate drops to 5.02%. India's daily COVID-19 tally continued to fall on Tuesday as the country logged 67,597 fresh cases of the coronavirus disease in the last 24 hours. According to the Union Health Ministry, the related death toll saw a jump of 1,188 and now stands at 5,4062, the ministry further said in its daily health bulletin. With Tuesday's fresh cases, the overall case load had reached to 4 crore 23 lakh 39,061 cases. For more such news, please watch Today24 News.